Thanks to Lenovo and Intel for sponsoring this video. Engaging AI avatar. The future is no longer a distant dream. We're living in it. Powerful devices for productivity, creation, and entertainment are all becoming more portable. Even the experience of high-performance gaming is evolving. It's ascending. So if you couldn't tell, that voice was actually not me. Uh, that was AI doing its best John impression. I've been wanting to try that for a while. And AI is a big theme uh, of this video. And what Lenovo is doing with the Legion Slim 5i Gen 8 series, aside from being a very long name to get out of the mouth, is putting together a really top of the line gaming computer that brings a lot to the table and now a thinner package. Before I tell you about it, uh, it is giveaway time and mixing it up a little bit. We're actually giving away a Lenovo Legion Slim 7i, uh, the big brother, of course, to the 5i. Uh, it is a beast of a computer that I want you to have. Uh, to enter, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would do with it. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave your social handle in the comments so I can contact you if you win or let it run for 10 days. All the information you need to know will be in the description. With the Lenovo Legion Slim 5i Gen 8 series, which I dare you to say eight times fast, uh, Lenovo wanted to make sure you could get the best sort of gaming performance without sacrificing design. That's a tough thing to do in the gaming world. If you go and look at all the gaming laptops, they are just big, fat, chunky boys, but they have to be, right? You wanna have power, you wanna have performance, and you want battery life that's gonna last you maybe more than like 30 seconds. Being able to get all of those things and a smaller, slimmer package has kind of been like the unreachable goal of gaming laptops. I think what Lenovo is doing here is getting us really close to that ideal package. So imagine, if you will, uh, you've got a ThinkPad or another laptop that can also game. That's kind of what Lenovo is setting out to do. This is a thin design for a gaming laptop. This is not gonna fit in a manila envelope or anything unless you wanna rip the sides. So, dimensionally, it's 2.3 kilograms. That's a little bit over five pounds. It's 22 millimeters uh, thick or thin, depending on how you wanna look at it. Oh, Nova made an interesting decision, but one that I kinda tend to agree with. So, there are different spec models of this laptop. It starts with an RTX 3050 and maxes out with an RTX 4070. Because this is a thin laptop, Nova decided to offer two thicknesses, depending on the specs inside, which you don't really see that often. Usually it's just one shell, whatever you decide to spec out inside. Uh, the thicker version is still pretty thin for gaming laptop, coming in at 25.2 millimeters. Yeah, it's a kind of a cool thing to do. I'd rather this than kind of a compromised enclosure when it comes to heat. So I think Lenovo uh, did make the right moves here. Because of the bezel, speakers, battery frame, uh, it's still pretty tough as now something Lenovo and sort of the Legion line has been known for. So it's a pretty good balance of strength and design if you are gonna throw it in a bag and kind of lug it around with you. They also aren't skipping on screen either. So the version that we have here, the 16 inch, 240 hertz, 16 by 10 WQXGA display built in, uh, it is not touchscreen. But if you're going to be using this for content creation or gaming, uh, you are going to need an awesome display. It's always been kind of funny to me. You spec out gaming computers, usually exactly the same specs you would need on the video editing side. So credible for the content creation uh, as well as getting your games on. You also get all the ports you'd expect. You get a SD card reader, which is awesome to have, uh, two USB-C ports and two USB-A ports. And you're also getting a really awesome keyboard. So Lenovo is calling it Lenovo Legion Two Strike. This is probably one of the better RGB implementations uh, that I've seen, at least in a laptop keyboard. Uh, they're calling their RGB NIST Lenovo Legion Spectrum. According to Lenovo, they said they set out to kind of make a keyboard experience like you'd get on a ThinkPad, but now on a gaming laptop. So just really good key throw. If you decide to use the keyboard at least and not have an external one, uh, it works really well. Any way you want to slice this, this is a thin, sleek laptop, at least for the gaming world, that gives you the features you want in design, I think that looks and feels great. So what's really impressive is the performance you get out of design like this. Uh, Novo didn't let that get in the way, I don't think in any way. So one area that is of worry when looking at a thinner laptop like this is obviously going to be thermal throttling, right? You can have incredible specs, but if you can't run at max capacity for any period of time because of heat, 
it's not gonna do you any good. So I had a very long chat with Lenovo about this, trying to understand what they did and sort of the heat that they are battling. And what they ended up putting inside of this, they're calling Legion Cold Front 5.0, totally a marketing language, but what that is, uh, it's their thermal management system that's built in. What they're doing is they're using a phase change thermal compound, larger copper heat pipes and fins, and an increased air intake and exhaust with liquid crystal polymer fans, means you can sort of focus on gaming and content creation for much longer and tend to not pay attention to heat. It also lets the computer run much quieter since the thermals are not out of control, so the fans don't have to be on all the time. Uh, inside, uh, this is running the 13th gen Intel Core series of processors. These have even more multitasking power and e-cores, so whether you're working on a bunch of spreadsheets, 30 Chrome tabs open, or you're playing kind of latest AAA game or editing a video, you're not gonna have to worry about sort of slowdowns and issues. This computer is good for a lot of things, but games are kind of where I wanted to try it. Uh, it has been monsoon season here in Southern California. It's not much to do, and my kids are at school, which means I finally get some me time to play some games. I'm a bit embarrassed to admit this. Uh, I have never played Red Dead Redemption 2, ever. It got to the point where I just like just didn't talk about it because everybody had already played this game. But I want to actually give it a shot, want to try it. I know it's not the newest game in the world, but it was been at the top of my Steam list for a very long time. So I finally got a chance to try that here too. Uh, and I couldn't have a gaming experience without playing at least one of the Spider-Man games. This time I installed Miles Morales as I wait anxiously for Spider-Man 2 to come out. Things you'd expect are here when it comes to gaming. And when you are gaming, no matter what game you are, uh, you can use Intel's performance hybrid architecture, which is designed to handle kind of the intensive needs sort of that these games require. Uh, so for example, uh, Intel's smart cache expanded the cache size to accelerate the processors for higher uh, FPS in games, which you can really notice, at least I could. So the power kind of keeps going. Uh, Lenovo is actually leveraging AI to make the laptop do even more. And when I hear leverage AI, I tend to kind of like shut down. It's like marketing speak that's kind of everywhere right now, but it's actually really useful for what Lenovo is doing, especially on the gaming side. So inside is Lenovo LA1 AI chip, which is running Lenovo AI Engine Plus. Basically, this is a dedicated AI chip that can run task optimized features like FPS while gaming. And optimizations to make sure this laptop is running at its peak settings for a very long time. If you're looking for a gaming laptop, there are a lot of choices. And ultimately, they're all very similar choices. Uh, but if you want something that's going to give you the best of all the worlds, gonna give you a great keyboard, gonna give you a great display, gonna give you cutting edge performance, gonna give you AI if you choose to use it, gonna give you a ton of ports, gonna give you an SD card if you decide to do any content creation, and also going to do all of that in a slimmer, more compact, yet durable form factor. Uh, Lenovo's got your back. And if you're looking for a gaming computer, just owe it to yourself to check this out. If you wanna learn more, check out the whole line or spec it out for yourself, we got a link for you down below. And again, a big thank you to Lenovo and Intel for sponsoring this video.